Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, March 12th, 2024, let's get into it. So we're just going to do a few geopolitical stuff, and then we're going to actually get into the book, and uh, we'll be talking about that later in the video. So uh, this was, some of this is kind of old news, because I just bookmark these things, uh, and and if you, if you haven't followed the news, I mean, there was this uh, Russian drone that was flying over top of Zelensky's convoy. <laughs> and so the Russians published a whole video about, you know, hey, you know, Zelensky, we could take you out any time. And so this was from Jer Oman. Today, Zelensky received a final warning. The Iskander strike occurred just a few hundred meters away from him. Next time, the Russians will not miss. <laughs> After a short pause, Russian aviation again began to level the Ukrainian positions. This time, the main blow falls on the Marinka direction. So that was the first uh, bookmark that I wanted to get into. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, then this, this was, um, this was well, let's get back to the, so the, uh, this was the next one. The Minister of Defense and the Government of I've never even heard of this place. S-A-N-A-A, -A -A, Sana General Al Altifi. The blatant and repeated attacks carried out by Americans and British have not and will not affect our armed forces. Of course, this is coming from Yemen. All right. And uh, the more aggression increases its power, the more the Yemen people will strengthen their principled and firm position in supporting the Gaza Strip. In other words, they're trying to put a stop to the uh, genocide Joe, the Biden, the bloodthirsty Democrat extermination of the Palestinians. But, uh, you know, Yemen's doing a good job. And we're going to get into another post on that. So uh, let's just go through a couple more. Um, Maduro, Russia defeats all Western, Western countries on the battlefield. And this is coming out of Venezuela. <laughs> I mean, I love it. The whole damn world's lined up against the United States, Europe. And, uh, and, well, I mean, well, I guess you, I wouldn't say Japan, but in all of our allies. What's happening in Ukraine is a war initiated by the West and NATO. The conflict has already become unbearable for the U.S. while the Russian economy has strengthened, says Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. All right, so there you go, there you go, there you go. Uh, this was an interesting one. Uh, this is from Victor uh, Vic top 55 on uh, X. You can follow him if you want. Uh, but he, he always puts out some good stuff here. I hope Russia is helping the Yemeni rebels to fight for democracy and independence. The Yemeni Navy sank, and, and by the way, this is why I wanted to, I started with that Yemeni clip. The Yemeni Navy sank an English cargo ship in 30,000th Ruby Mar with underwater drones within a day. The crew abandoned the ship and were rescued by a tugboat from D... Boy, I tell you, who the hell... Where did all these names and everything come from? D-J-I-B-O-U-G Jaboti. The Yemenis also displayed two auxiliary transports, Sea Champion and the Novice Fortuna, with cargo to support the uh, U.S. Navy aircraft carrier group in the, in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Arden. Uh, the joint operation of NATO and U.S. Naval Forces, Guardian, Pros Guardian of Prosperity. Don't you love these names that the, the idiot government, the Biden administration comes up with? The Garden, Guardian of Prosperity. I think that that needs to be a movie, doesn't it? Like the Guardians of the Universe. All right, so let's just keep going. Uh, I, I won't do many more of these. More than a month after the U.S. and U.K. decided to bomb Yemen to protect Israel's economy and the Houthis just for today. And getting back to the hoodies again, because I tell you what, I, they're doing some damage. They're doing some damage on Israel, and they're doing some damage on the United States. Got to give them credit where credit's due. A bunch of towel-headed, towel uh, uh, well, what do we want to call them, uh, you know, uh, Arabs running around the desert. They seem to be doing a pretty good job. Sunk the British cargo ship Ruby Mar, downed an American MQ-9 Reaper attack drone, Struck American cargo vessel Sea Champion. Struck American uh, cargo vessel Navis Fortuna. What is the effect of that bombing? It has contributed only to a counter effect. As I've already reported, the U.S. is hitting empty fields and empty buildings 
All the weapons of the Houthis are hidden in bunkers and in the mountains, which nothing can break. After all, Saudi Arabia, and this is what I, I've always pointed this out. Saudi Arabia and the United States bombed the Houthis for eight years. You think they're not prepared for anything that we're going to throw at them at this point? Except a nuclear bomb, and even that I don't think is good. The, the radiation fallout afterwards might have an effect on them, but it's certainly not going to get to them in their underground shelters. And under, Everything's underground at this point. Everything's underground in Lebanon. Okay, So when Israel, and I say when because they're going to attack, when they attack Lebanon, uh, they bring in their F-35 fighters and just bomb the shit out of the Houthis. Yeah, they're going to kill some people on the surface, but most of all the infrastructure is underground. Everybody in the world has learned uh, how to defend themselves against the United States Air Force. Our projection of power has come to an end. And, and I, I, unfortunately, Congress, the United States, the Pentagon, they can't accept that fact. But here, let's just keep going. All that has been achieved is a counter effect. Now the whole zone in the Red Sea is on fire, and not only ships that were connected to Israel, but also many other ships connected to Western countries can no longer use the rod. You think your prices aren't going up? <laughs> you, better get, you better hold on to your jock straps. I mean, this whole damn thing's going to be coming to a head here real soon, real soon. Stock up on toilet paper. Stock up on food. Stock up on anything you can. Buy some, well, you can't buy gold no more. It's hitting all-time highs, right? But silver still is just at 20, between 24 and 25. By the way, I made a freaking shitload of money uh, on my investments. Uh, I, I hope you were invested in precious metals. Of course, I had uranium and I had nickel and I had uh, oil. Uh, yeah, all, all assets. You know, you got your 401k and NVIDIA. Oh, you just lost a ton of money. You got your 401k invested in Apple or Google or any of those stocks. You've lost a ton of money, and you're going to continue to lose money. Not investment advice. I'm just saying that's my opinion. All right. In order to defend Israel's economy, the U.S. and European countries hurt their own economies. The U.S. and U.K. have already realized that they made a mistake, but they cannot back down now. That's for damn sure. The Biden administration. Did you watch that State of the Union address? It was the dumbest, craziest thing I've ever seen in my lifetime. I mean, I... I, I call it the state of the disunion address. <laughs> I mean, all he was is an angry old man just yelling at the American people. I, I, I why in the hell? I guess the Democrats, you know, they, they the bloodthirsty Democrats. I mean, they're just going to vote blindly for for a crazy old man. Uh, it's it's like the Wizard of Oz. You know, you pull back the curtain, you showed the crazy old man, but yet they're still going to vote for him. That's how stupid the freaking Democrats are. And now their cities are being taken over by illegal aliens, and uh, and 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 their governments are funding the illegal aliens, giving them ten thousand dollar credit cards, putting them up in the Ritz Carlton hotels. I mean, how stupid are the Democrats? Oh my God! You know what? I'm, this has got to be two videos tonight. We're just going to keep going. It will be a shameful scandal and a great victory for the Houthis, even though the battle is already lost. Israel is the favorite child of the globalist in the USA. But why are the European countries shooting themselves in the head? Yeah, I mean, the United States blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. Germany had cheap energy. And yet the German people now want to send missiles to Ukraine to fight the Russians <clears throat> when the Russians were just giving them cheap energy. I mean, has the whole world lost its mind? I mean, is it just me or is it, is it just seem crazy to me? Let's just keep going. But why are the European countries shooting themselves in the head again, destroying their shaky economies, while which are entering recession one by one this year? It's sheer madness. It's sheer madness. The European countries are led by idiots, madmen. I mean, where in the hell are these Ivy League educations? I mean, are these just satanic creatures that graduate from these Ivy League schools? That's the only thing I can think of. All right. So, anyway, nice... Uh, picture. Hopefully you can get this on the video. This is the ship burning. Can you see that? I hope you can. Yeah, that's the ship burning. Uh, so Megatron, the Israeli war cabinet has made the decision to enter Rafa. Now, if you didn't know, Ramadan's going on at the moment. <clears throat> so uh, a lot of analysts are saying that once Ramadan's over, that the Arab world is going to come out in force against Israel. And so what's going to happen then? Is the Biden administration going to go to war in the Middle East? I bet they will. 
So we're going to send all our woke warriors over there. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't want to be in the U.S. military right now. Thank God I served under the Reagan administration early part of my career. You know, with that said, I wanted to show a video because my first career in the military was as a combat engineer. And I want to show you what that looks like. Now, you can't imagine. Now, the mines that I worked on were, uh, they were Russian mines, of course, but they were, uh, they were diffused. So, you know, but we had to simulate. I always took it very, very seriously because I thought that someday I might be actually digging up a live mine. Let's look at these guys digging up a live mine. I mean, these are the Russian combat engineers. Let's take a look at that. Противотанковая мина М62. Приготовиться все. Огонь. Wasn't that interesting? I mean, holy moly. The, uh, that, that's, that's crazy job, man. I wouldn't, I, I, I tell you what, I, I probably would have done pretty good digging up this Russian mine. Now, did you see the equipment that the Russians had there? Pretty damn impressive. Pretty damn impressive. So, so the invasion will happen as the month of Ramadan approaches. Well, it hasn't happened yet, but I, I, I predict it's going to happen during Ramadan. And then after Ramadan, this thing's going to escalate, man. Uh, this was uh, Dr. S I tell you what, I like this Dr. Simon Goddick, G-O-D-D-E-K. If you don't follow him on X, uh, he's been fantastic. He was great through the uh, whole uh, COVID uh, uh, fiasco uh, with that Fachi freaking criminal that killed millions of people around the world and should be in jail. Uh, and then, uh, you know, and then, now we got Trump coming out, still, still promoting the vaccines. What the fuck is wrong with Trump? Trump. Admit you made a mistake. You got hoodwinked by the pharmaceutical companies. You know, you, 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 you lined yourself up behind Fauci. At some point, you just got to say, okay, I made a mistake. I'm not going to do it again. And you know what? You're going to get a lot more votes that way. That's my, my advice to President Trump or hopefully future President Trump. But let's list let's 10 things that aren't real. Fiat money. Yeah, you think your dollar's going anywhere? Oh, hell no. The dollar's going down, baby. You better be investing in some gold, silver assets, real estate, farms, and vegetables. Uh, that's my advice. The COVID pandemic. What a freaking fiasco that was. Are you still getting... Um, what are we on the ninth vaccine? The CDC just came out and recommended you get another booster to the 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 booster. Because it's the ninth. I, I, did I say nine boosters? I, I can't remember. Election integrity. Yeah, you think we got election integrity with ballot harvesting and the Democrats wanting no voter ID? Why do you think the Democrats don't want voter ID? They're going to have illegal aliens voting in the next election. That's how corrupt they are. I mean, it, I, everybody says they want to hate on the Republicans. At least the Republicans, some of them anyway, not the rhinos, are for voter ID. So let's just keep going. Uh, free speech on X. Yep, X censors. They censor me. That's for damn sure. Uh, and so, you know, menstruating men. Have you ever seen a man menstruate? I haven't. I mean, I, I, I guess in my lifetime, I never even thought that that, that would be something that we, we need to, to talk about. <laughs> oh, my God. That a man could become a woman and a woman become a man. And, then, and we got pronouns. What was it on X? They just put out a, a memo that says if you use the wrong pronouns, that you're going to be banned from X. So, yeah, there, there's no free speech on X, uh, although it's still better than most. Let's just say that. Renewable energies. Yeah. I mean, I put the solar panels on my roof. I told you I'd give you the jury on that. Uh, 
you know, and I, if they're 400 watt panels. And so my first electric bill with the solar panels was $100. Now, my electric bills were running between $100 to $300, uh, depending on the time of year. All right. And, uh, and so, and of course, but I'm paying an $88 lease on the solar panels. So when you consider a renewable energy, I'm not, I didn't save any money the first month. Now, the second month, my electric bill was $55. And the lease on the panels was $88. So you could say, well, but I really didn't save anything because it's a month where I'm not running the air conditioning and I'm not running any electricity. You know, so, you know, this whole renewable energy thing, I, I, I definitely want to go green. I'm a, I'm a, you know me, I'm a big hiker. I'm a conservationist. I, I pick up trash on the side of the road. You know, I mean, I, I do everything I can. I, I, I get the, I'm paying for picnic tables to go into parks with my foundation, my charitable foundation, which if you want to contribute to it, it's the Kirk Anthony Ellis Foundation in Ocala, Florida. But anyway, so this scientific consensus I mean, <laughs> does anybody trust the FDA, the CDC, the FBI, uh, the CIA? I mean, it, 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 have you lost total faith in any form of government or uh, the IRS? I mean, oh, my God, Democrats. I mean, it seems like the whole damn world just wants to lie, lie, lie. The mainstream media. Who the hell trusts the mainstream media anymore? I mean, I, do you watch anything that they got to say? I mean, if you do, I just, I'm impressed. I can't even watch it. Sometimes I, I do try to watch the enemy, you know, because I view them as the enemy. And I turn on like CNN or maybe MSDNC and I watch just five minutes and I just think, this is just all lies. It's all garbage, you know, garbage in, garbage out. And so I just, I, you know, I, I would much rather get other information. Like tonight I watched a video on peak prosperity where they talked about, uh, uh, or how, you know, if you own your, your uh, securities through a brokerage, uh, a lot of times that's a Ponzi scheme. They're actually selling securities right now that are not securities. So if you own a share in IBM, it might not be a share in IBM. I encourage you to watch the video. It was very complex. But uh, anyway, I, I will take some action on that. Uh, Eco-friendliness of EVs, uh, man-made climate change, and mainstream nutrition advice. <laughs> yeah. Are you taking any advice from the mainstream media? Oh, my God. And then, uh, and then, of course, this is Wall Street Silver. Why are we considering $14 billion for Israel? Israel is an extremely wealthy country with very low debt to GDP. Israel can easily afford to pay its own expenses related to its war. Why are we considering paying anything at all to Israel? And then uh, here's the next one. I like to say that I was going to go, I, I'm going to get a book video here. Next video, we'll, we'll do that. Japanese companies started canceling cooperation with Israeli ones. Reuters reports the Japanese company Itochu Itoku, has determined it's has terminated its collaboration with the Israeli defense company Elbit following the International Court of Justice decision requiring the, the Israeli genocide in Gaza. So there you go. There you go. And then uh, Jackson Hinkle, uh, but boy, you haven't seen much of him recently. I guess he's traveling the world and he says he's got a big interview coming up. President Putin on Gaza genocide. When you look at the children covered in blood and deceased children, and then you look at how the elderly, how the women are suffering, how medical professionals are dying, it makes you clench your fist and cry. So let's just finish the video right here. This is a cute video. I'm sure the music's going to get me banned, but I'm already banned. What do I care? I'm censored everywhere on the freaking internet. X censors me. Google censors me. You know, well, Rumble doesn't, but it's just because not many people know about me on Rumble. They follow me, The Burn on Rumble. The Burn on Rumble. That's where I post these videos. But this is, this is a drop of food by the Biden. Now, understand, there are convoys of trucks that all the Biden, all Joe Biden has to do is call up Netanyahu and say, okay, Netanyahu, let the convoys of trucks into Gaza, because there's 1.2 million people still left alive. I, I think uh, we'll probably see another 30,000 dead civilians, women, children, uh, old people uh, in the next uh, coming weeks uh, as Israel drops United States genocide Joe bombs on, uh, on, on uh, Gaza. But anyway, uh, so all we got to do is just do that. No, we're going to airdrop stuff in. Look at this airdrop. You got to see this. Check it out.
people were killed during the airdrop because <laughs> all the parachutes were, were caving in. Do you think we can't even do an airdrop in the United States military? I mean, imagine if those were troops attached to those damn airdrops or our equipment uh, going into, a, you know, like like back during World War II when we parachuted in behind the not, the NAZI lines. I, I can't say the word because, well, I've already been banned, I'm sure, on, on YouTube. Uh, and then, of course, this was Glenn Beck, and this is a while back. Uh, Don't be fooled. The Senate's new border bill isn't a border bill. It's another multi-billion dollar war package that gives three times more spe more to Ukraine than our, our own border's protection. What kind of protection? Well, about what kind of well about 1.4 billion of that border money is set aside for FEMA to give to the NGOs. And if you don't understand, non-governmental organizations, they're the ones that George Soros, the great Satan, the Palatine, uh, I mean, if you ever want to compare him to the, 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 the evil emperor in Star Wars, I think they're one and the same. The guy is definitely satanic. He is ruled by satanic forces. But anyway, so he's, he's the one funding all of the illegal uh, immigrants coming across the border. And uh, so that's it. That's it for the video. Peace out. Stay free. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.